Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. Welcome into the Sam channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. I'm Chris Allen and, uh, had a good time by the way, on Saturday in Munfordville, uh, for mother's day weekend at the Ace Hardware Marketplace. Sold a lot of those beautiful flower bouquets. Hopefully you were able to get one before they sold out. I sold a few weather radios as well. So it was a good day. Thank you to Ace Hardware Marketplace uh, there in Munfordville. It was a, a great day, a beautiful day. It was windy though. I had, we had a couple of those uh, canopies set out. Uh, you know, to, one was over the grill and as we were uh, uh, smoking hot dogs and then uh, over the uh, flower beds and the garden that was out there and all the different things we had set up and a gust of wind came by and took one of those canopies and I'm like, Oh, okay. Am I, am I okay? <laughs> it was all right. No harm, no foul, but it, it was very windy. Yesterday was beautiful. Not as much wind today. The wind will be back because we have a system approaching that is going to kick up the wind and, uh, some of the, uh, you know, some of the showers that are going to run back at us, uh, here in the next, uh, 24 hours or so. Let me check for you and we'll, well, we'll just check it together. The plain O cam, as you can see, we have scattered mainly high clouds this morning across the area. Uh, nothing that's bringing rain yet. It's still going to be a while before, uh, we start to see the showers, but we are going to go back into a rainy period after what was a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And many of you saw, uh, what you're seeing right there. Uh, the Northern lights, the auroras, uh, just thousands of pictures from all over, uh, the country, uh, including here in Southern Kentucky, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. You can tell the wind got me as far as the sinuses are concerned this morning. So yeah, but anyway, uh, saw some of those Northern lights. It was beautiful. Many of you took pictures of it. It was just fascinating and for many, maybe once in a lifetime opportunity, uh, to see those, uh, lights. So yeah, the solar flares have tamed down a bit. So we're not seeing as much activity right now as we did over the course of the weekend, but who knows when they'll be back. We didn't even know that these were coming until those so solar flares started happening on the sun. And then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, guess what's going to happen next? Yeah. We get those solar geomagnetic storms that cause those beautiful auroras. And, uh, yeah, it was just fascinating, uh, to see all that. Hopefully you got to see that. If not for real, you got to see it on social media. As we, uh, take a look at what's happening downtown Bowling Green this morning, uh, we see from the AAA systems reservoir Hill camera, uh, that we see some of those high clouds and even some mid-level clouds approaching. And I think as we go through the day, we're going to continue to see those clouds beginning to thicken up. And eventually we're going to find some rain that'll move in, especially this afternoon, tonight, and really tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a very, uh, looks like a very wet day for us here in Southern Kentucky. All right, let's check the maps here and see what's going on. First of all, the winds this morning are starting out uh, sort of on the light side. We're starting to see a little more tightening of the isobars here. So eventually the winds are going to kick up, being helped by this piece of energy rotating over the central plains. So the winds here are coming out of the southeast at 5 to 10. How about radar? Well, showers will be approaching right now. They're very scattered and very light back to the West, nothing over Southern Kentucky, but back to the West scattered showers. And these are thunderstorms that are occurring right outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, moving into the Joplin, Missouri area. All of this energy will be, uh, pushed in to our area tonight. And during the day tomorrow, Gulf moisture uh, will kick in as well and, uh, bring us a pretty good, uh, several, really several waves of, uh, rain and thunderstorms the next several days. 
Here you see some of those high clouds and jet streaks this morning, uh, contrails, but otherwise we're going to see the clouds begin to thicken up a little bit more. Here's that piece of energy. You can clearly see it on uh, the satellite view this morning. That's going to help kick things off here and get the showers and thunderstorms underway, uh, during the next 24 hours. And then even beyond that, we're going to continue to see rain chances on the rise as we get into, uh, tomorrow, especially, but really every single day this week has a chance of showers in the forecast. It's going to be one of those rinse and repeat type systems, uh, that will be coming through. Here's a look at Kentucky Mesonet temperatures as of 734 this morning. And you see 50s where the thicker clouds are over in eastern Kentucky. So they're a bit cooler in the low 50s while we're in the mid to upper 50s to low 60s further west. Uh, And um, we're going to see temperatures today, I think, get uh, more into the mid seventies. We hit 81 officially yesterday at the airport. 78 is where we should be. So that was just three degrees above normal. Today will be a bit cooler thanks to the thickening clouds and eventually the showers that'll be moving in, uh, precipitation so far, nothing out there past 24 hours or let's see 24 hours. Yeah, there we go. Uh, wind, Current winds uh, have been out of the east-southeast, now coming more southerly back to the west at about five miles per hour. Uh, The gusts, not very much. The winds haven't quite picked up yet, but they will this afternoon with the approach of that energy. Uh, So you're going to be able to start to feel a breeze at about uh, 15 to 20 this afternoon. Dew points are in the low to mid 50s, although we're beginning to see some higher upper 50s back to the west. So it's not really muggy. It doesn't feel too bad, but the humidity levels are going to go up uh, the next several days back into the 60s. And that means that we're going to start to feel more mugginess in the air. It's it's coming, whether you care for it or not, it's it's going to come back and they're therefore helping fuel some of the uh, thunderstorms that we'll be looking at over the next several days. Uh, Here's a look at the model blender. And we've got really nothing too out of hand here. Uh, Temperatures, as I mentioned, average or normal high is 78. Uh, We're looking at about that the next few days, mid to upper 70s, around 80, maybe Thursday. Uh, or low 80s, depending on, and that's when we get a break from the rain on Thursday. So it's naturally going to be a little bit warmer. Uh, As we go on and look at 80s into the weekend and next week, that's not too far off. Low 80s, almost mid 80s. It might be a couple of degrees above average, but not by much. Uh, So really, No major swings, cool or too warm. Uh, Either way, everything stays pretty balanced as far as temperatures for the next 10 days. Not a big change at all with any of that. Well, let's check the maps and go to the fronts and the chances of rain and all that coming our direction. And there are going to be several chances of rain coming our way. Uh, The pattern is set up so that high pressure, which has been giving us the beautiful Mother's Day weekend, uh, is now moving east. That's allowing some shower activity to move in from the west. The next piece of energy coming in is going to increase the chance of showers as we get into this afternoon and this evening, but especially during the day on Tuesday. We're going to see several rounds, even though there appears to be a little hole here. There's Really, that's going to be filled in with uh, all this moisture. We've got several waves of low pressure back to the west, uh, pieces of energy that are going to continue to roll through. Uh, Here's the heavier rain and thunderstorms Tuesday morning, 
into Tuesday afternoon and evening as this a bit of an occlusion, uh, low pressure kind of wrapped around itself back along the Ohio River. That's enough to squeeze out a lot of moisture. We're not looking at flash flooding or anything like that, but some heavy downpours of rain are certainly possible. Not really looking for severe weather threats either, uh, but there will be some thunderstorms with some rain. Uh, garden variety stuff. Wednesday morning, this front starts to work its way a little closer to Bowling Green. Finally comes on through. We get this break that's going to happen Wednesday night into Thursday morning. You see the lack of rain, but here comes the next system. It's like a parade of systems over and over again. Here we go. Rinse and repeat weather as we get into the end of the week, Friday, then into Saturday, then into Sunday. Yep. We keep the showers in here. Yeah. There are some high pressure centers here, but they're dirty highs is what we call them because of the contamination of rain. They're not very strong, but, um, there's a little bit of dry air that some of these rains will have to overcome. Uh, therefore they may not be as heavy, but still showers are in the forecast for the next several days and even into the weekend, there will be some showers, not continual rain, but there will be some showers in the forecast that are going to kind of, as, as I mentioned, I like to call them rinse and repeat type showers. You get some rain, then it breaks off, then rain, then it breaks off. It's going to be like that. But tomorrow seems to be, um, seems to be the best day to get rain. Uh, as far as a continual, almost continual rain is going to be tomorrow and some of the heavier rain and maybe a stronger thunderstorm. But again, I don't really see anything severe going on for our part of the country, which is good. All right. In the chat box this morning, good morning to Amy, Katie, Sharon, Kay, Sarah, uh, Jerry, Teresa. Thank you all for chiming in and everybody else this morning. I'm on the radio right now at Sam 100.7, and I'll be on your TV tonight with the weather at News 40, WNKY, NBC, and CBS at 5, 6, and 10. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and God bless.